everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyber Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to invoice shipping cost. How to allows for invoicing the customers for the shipping cost after delivery. And this ensures that the charges are accurate based on the real-time factors like weight, distance and chosen shipping method. This transparency builds trust with the customers and they are only charged for the actual cost incurred. And we can say that in Odoo, shipping costs can be invoiced in different ways. Like we can just agree with the customers on a fixed cost and include this it in the uh, sales price and invoicing ship shipping cost to the customers uh, post delivery, reflecting the actual expenses incurred by the business. Now let's see how can we manage uh, the invoice shipping cost in Odoo 17. For that, first let's get into the sales module and in the configuration settings, we can find uh, a section called shipping we we just need to enable the delivery method and we can just compute the shipping cost so in order to manage that either we can just uh, manage this shipping cost from here or under the inventory module uh, we have an option of the uh, shipping method so here in the configuration menu you can choose the shipping method which comes under the delivery and here you can find different shipping methods and if you want to create a new one just click on new one um, and new button and you can set that. So currently I'm going to choose the existing one where you can see the shipping um, method as FedEx US. So this is a shipping method that is used uh, in the United States. So once you set this, you can just provide the website. So if you want to just make this available in a particular website, you can set that. If you are not setting any particular website, then this can be used under uh, any of the website. So the provider is FedEx and we just need to get, get the integration level, uh, get rate and create shipment. And you can also set uh, this shipping method for a particular company. If you are not setting that, then this can be used for any company. And later on, we can set the margin and uh, we can also set the uh, shipping free if the customer is uh, buying the product above a certain amount. And uh, we can also set the uh, delivery uh, product so this will be uh, added in the sales order line and uh, you can see the invoicing policy that is based on the estimated cost and uh, uh, you also need to set the configuration such as the developers key passwords account number meters and these are mandatory things and only we can just configure this shipping method once we are uh, dealing with our sales order or the delivery now let's move on to the sales module and let's see how can we just manage that. So in uh, the sales module, we can just choose a customer. So my customer is Azure Interior. This is my all-time uh, favorite customer because he is one of the loyal customer who always frequently buys product from me. And he want the product um, customizable desk with uh, uh, 10 quantity. So here you can set the quantity and later on, uh, when you set the quantity, you can add uh, the shipping method. And here you can see we can add the shipping method, which is FedEx. Um, so let's search more and let's select the one we want. And later on, you can just click on get rate so that the rate will be automatically calculated depending on the weight of the product or the distance uh, of the delivery of the item and all. So the uh, cost is currently calculated over here. Now we just need to add this cost in our order lines which means the shipping cost must be added in the order lines. In order to do so, you can just click on the add button and you can see we have just added that and uh, here you would be able to find every price over here. Now we can just confirm uh, the uh, order and let's make the delivery of the item to the customer. So currently we can just validate the process um, of the delivery as we have sufficient quantity. So let's click on validate and upon the confirmation of the SMS, um the uh, delivery will be then uh from here and you can also find the tracking from our side and here you can see uh the tracking everything will be over there now let's create the invoice for this in order to create the invoice here you can see um click on the button create invoice so here we just need to create the regular invoice so you can choose that currently the invoice is in draft state now let's confirm the invoice and after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. And here you can see everything. And uh, this also shows uh, uh, the tax that is applied as well as the total cost for the items as well as uh, the shipping cost and all. So we have done with that. 
So if you want to view the shipping cost in the invoice, you can just click on uh, preview where you can find uh, the uh, cost. So here this shows that the cost for 10 quantity of the product and uh, 15 percent is of taxes applied so uh, that also can be found uh, in this invoice and here you can see that the shipping cost that is applied um, by using the fedex us over here and that will be added with the total of the price so it's very easy to manage uh, or calculate the shipping cost um, in the invoice so i hope this uh, video clarifies your doubt on how to invoice the shipping cost so if you want auto customizations or auto tutorial videos, feel free to contact Sai process as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.